Hey everybody, this is David R. Becker here in Clayton, New York, and I'm going to be doing a live demo for you guys today at this harbor. Um, I'm going to be doing this boat and that boat, and um, just a really fast improv, improv um, demo for you guys to see. And um, we're just going to do this. Here's my setup. I just want to show you my setup, and here's this marina. This marina is pretty nice marina here in Clayton. It's on the St. Lawrence River in Clayton, New York, and um, I'm going to be painting directly into the sun. <laughs> so we'll see how it is. I got the setup with my umbrella, so it'll guide my eye. And so we're going to come over here, put this on there, and we're just going to start and get this done really fast. I just got done with the workshop here, and um, it was a great workshop, great three-day workshop. And so what we're going to be doing is these boats, and you know, if anybody knows me, I love doing boats. And so what we're going to do here is um, these three boats right here. And I will have this picture available online right after this. And so take a look when you get done. When I get done with this and you can um, also paint it, I'll put the picture of this to... They just moved the boat. <laughs> I just got done drawing and they moved the boat up about a foot because they're going to bring in another boat there in a second. But we're going to see what we can do. And so we'll just get started here and again there's the boat two boats this boat was farther back when i first started drawing it but they moved it up and they're going to position a boat right behind there they're going to put another boat right in there but oh well too bad for that i have it um i have the picture of it on my cell phone here and i'm gonna like i said i'll post it later on and so i'll show you guys the boat and so here we go um, I can't um, answer questions. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be um, painting and stuff. And so if you want to ask a question, ask it later. And, or ask it now, and then I'll, I'll answer it later. All right, so here we go. So um, it's painting directly into the sun. And hopefully you can see this. Um, let's see. Where am I going to be in the way? Let me just look to where I am. All right, I think I'll be good. So what you want to do here is I am going to... The sun is going to be directly right here, and so I'm just going to wet everything except for the sun right there. And um, since I'm painting directly into the sun, everything that's on this side of the boats will be in shadow. Sorry for the squeaking of the <laughs> boats over there, but it's pretty loud over there with the squeaking. My background is the lights, of course, because it is very light back there. Um, right here is the sun, which is blinding. It's actually even more blinding now because my umbrella moved here, and I hope it doesn't get too windy. Like last, um, the last video we did, it was pretty windy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue back here. And just kind of go out here, and again, this is plain air, so you get a lot of things to deal with a lot of times when you're working plain air. I'm going to just kind of, it's like a halo right here, see, and I'm just going to make a little halo of light. It's so bright, and then it's going to glisten off the boats. And the boats, of course, are going to be in the shadow. Let me see if I can see if you can see anything. Yeah, you can kind of see it, right? All right, here we go. So we're going to... Um, I'm using ultramarine blue here right at the moment. I didn't clean my palette because, again, I never clean my palette. I always use that Holbein paint, you know, how it is. And so I'm just going to kind of go in here, take ultramarine. Kind of, again, it's just a sky, no clouds, um, really bright. And um, the background is, like I said, it's going to be very bright because I want to get that sun just shining in my eyes, which it is doing right now. <laughs> you can hold your questions for, um, or put them out there, but um, I won't be able to see them until afterwards. It's just that's the way this goes when you're doing um, these videos on Facebook and outside. If I'm inside, I have another little camera I can answer those questions for, but not out here. So I'm doing the big areas first. I'm going all these big areas first. And um, the dark areas will come later. So I'm doing the sky. I'm getting that nice bright, bright sunlight right there. And then right here, just a little bit darker on the edges. Like as it goes away from there, get a little bit darker. And then we're gonna come in here. Now we're gonna do the water right away because the water in front is just reflecting the sky from above. So, I'm just going to kind of come in here, wet this, do this all the, I'm kind of keeping the boats dry because I need to have a hard edge and they're going to be all in shadow because when it's directly at you, the sun, then um, basically everything that's between you and the sun is going to be in shadow. So I'm just going to wet this whole foreground and do my reflections right away, get a nice 
Now the water is really dark at the bottom of my feet right down here. So I'm just going to go in there with a nice ultramarine blue. There's a little bit of green in this, so I'm going to put a little cronacridum gold in that blue. So just like that, I'm just going to put that in there too. The reflections of the water, and I can go right into the dock. The dock is actually like a gray, so I'll just put the blue right into the dock. So I. I'm not going to go over to the boat. I normally would, but because I'm doing this quickly, I don't want to make it so that the um, the boat is has any any soft edges. I want a hard edges there. Oh, the boat just came out, so it's like rattling. All the boats are rattling. I'm sure you can hear that. It's like it's like a whale. Here we go. We're just putting it in here. And the thicker, remember, the thicker the um, the thicker the paint is, the more it's going to sit in a certain spot. It's going to stay right down there. And right below here, it's pretty dark, the water, and it's kind of waving like this. So I'm just going to do little waves and it gets a little bit lighter as it goes up. And it also looks a little bit more light blue, so I'm going to put a little light blue in there too. I'm not doing the darks yet. I'm not doing the reflections. That'll have to wait until it, until it gets a little bit more, a little bit more dry. And then I can be at the hard edge reflections. So here I'm putting a little bit of purple in there, and then I gotta get it thick. And of course, like always, I didn't bring paper towels, so I'm gonna be probably wiping it on my shirt. <laughs> I gotta learn to put paper towels in my bag. My... Or maybe I'll find some leaves again. I'll find a leaf close by. And here we got the light blue. Again, this is the light parts, this is not the dark parts yet. And so it's really bright and I'm trying to get it. Oh, I'm not right in your way. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh boy, did I get right in your way, you guys? I'm sorry. You're gonna kind of forget where you're standing. So I put this in there like that. All right, now I'm gonna go in here with more of a um, rectangular brush because I'm gonna get this little boat back here. And um, there's a little boat back there, and it's just in the shadow. I put it in more of a gray back there. And I know it's um, wet, but if I use it thick enough, it'll just go a little bit. It won't go real far. And that's just going to be a little bit of a boat back there. And then we're going to do the, the side of the dock, which is just a gray, a dark. And this is in the background, so we want to have that not quite as, not quite as dark as it actually is. That's aerial perspective, so it doesn't get as dark back there. I didn't put that other boat back in there. I'm just going to put little reflections in there. Of course, I love boats, so you know how much I love doing this. This this will be this is just an amazing scene around here. Around the corner, there was a, a nice tugboat, and I wish I could have done that, but I couldn't get close to it. So otherwise, um, I would have been doing that. Nice thing is, it's nice and warm out here. It's about 77 degrees, so um, it's drying pretty quickly. It rained all day yesterday, My, well, actually the first day it rained and during our class. Class is over in Clayton here in Clayton, New York, a thousand islands. This is um, out there, you can see a bunch of the islands. And, um, but the uh, got over today and we had a great, great workshop. Next week I'll be in, I will be in Gashun, Gashun, Gashum, uh, one of those words, yeah, New, um, Indiana. And I'll be doing a, an acrylic workshop out there. And we had a great time, very social distance. I'm getting really used to the masks. I'm just putting this in there, and it's pretty dark. When you're looking at it with your eyes, you can see it's pretty dark in here. So we're going to put a little violet in there. And I want hard edges because this is the boat in shadow. And it's white. I know it's white, the boat, but it has to be dark because it's, a, it's in the shadow. So you can make it a hard edge. It's the lightest part of the shadow. Just remember that. It is the lightest part, and I'll be going over it yet again. And I actually put some warm colors in there, too. I'm putting a little violet and a little bit of orange in there. And then see how it's like you can see through that little bit of the window? It's shining through the window over there, which it wasn't before, but then since they moved it. And the sun's going down, so it's going to just get darker and darker. And it's going to get more and more in my eyes since... Um, it's going to be down in about 15 minutes. That sun's going to be down, so we got to get this painting done quickly. So I'm kind of coming in here, just bringing it down. And 
Here I use again orange, ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue I'm using. A little bit of um, permanent violet, ultramarine blue. And then a little bit of um, brilliant orange. That kind of dulls it down a little bit. And then um, the back is like this here. I know it looks really dark again. It looks really dark, but it's gonna be it's gonna lighten up because when I do the reflection, it was just really dark. And also, like anything else, it always dries for 20% lighter. I'm just gonna get in here. Here we go up this way, and then there's gonna be a lot darker parts in there too. And actually, the edges you can make a little bit more orange. So I'm gonna put, make the edges a little bit more orange because. Um, because it can, it makes it warm. It makes it, and this is my center of interest, this bow right here. And so I'm kind of rewetting the whole thing a little bit. It's all good. Oh, good. And then we're gonna go in here, get that nice shadow coming across the front of that deck, and then there's that little window, bay window in there. And across the front, it gets a little bit of a shadow. Later on, we'll do the detail. Now, the boat in the back here, same thing. Um, it has kind of this plexiglass over there, and so I'm just gonna go in and go through this stuff. And that is really um, a lot of yellow orange in that back there. So we're gonna just do this with a real light, lighter tone. Go around this part. Top of the dock was light. You can't see it now because they moved the boat, but I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter right here so it doesn't affect this boat right in the front. I got a little watermarks here, but that's okay. We'll just leave them. This has a, a shining of light, light blue in there too. Might as well put that in there. Looks like it's really light blue right here, so I'm just going to put that right across it. And now this part of the dock is darker than the boat, so when this dries, I don't want to do it now because that's a little bit wet right there. And so here we're going to put this a little bit darker in the front. These are all yachts. These are huge yachts. I'm going to put this in here. I was going to do, like I said, I was going to do the tugboat, but I couldn't get close enough to get it. And I'm um, going to get a shot there. This is a private marina, but they let me in. Yeah, if you're an artist, just tell them you're an artist and you're painting. That I don't let any, any artist in all the time. It's like, a, it's, a, it's like a free pass a lot of times when you're going to places. Just say, hey, hey, can I paint your boat? And they'll be like, yeah, come on in. No big deal. Uh, nobody around asks me questions, that's good, because sometimes it's hard when you're doing this and then they're going to come up to you and ask you questions or talk to you, and then that's a little bit tough. Especially when I'm doing it live on Facebook, so. And again, I have to do it on Facebook. I can't do it yet on um, YouTube because I don't have enough viewers, I guess. Um, they, you have to have so many viewers to do it with your camera or with your phone. So sooner or later, I'll get enough, um, hopefully I'll get enough subscribers and enough hours watched, and then... I can do these on YouTube. But right now we're just, uh, it's good. Fun doing these. Come over here. Now let's do the dock. I'll start on this side so by the time I get over there. And these are kind of brownish, so i go with a warm color. Just a warm, nice, dark, warm color here. Nice and dark. Remember, 20%, it gets 20% lighter when it dries. I use my permanent violet, maybe a little bit of um, kind of like a burnt sienna. It's called, what I use is um, light red. It's kind of like a burnt orange, but they call it light red. Holbein calls it light red. I'll make that nice and dark right there. And then I notice how, might, might as well use the same thing in the back here to make it look like the same. There is a dock way in the distance over there on the other side of this, so I'm gonna put that in there too right away. Maybe through here a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. Again, just trying to get the get the shadows, the big shadows. You always work the big shadows first. This boat also has a different color on there, if you can see. Let's see. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're gonna um, get the shadows in there now, because. Um, this is probably dry. Yeah, see, it's already dry the water, so now I can get my reflections. And the reflections are really dark on this one, so you're going to use the dark blue, and I'm going to make it really dark, really a dark blue. And um, I'm going to kind of give it to, give it a, um, the edges, and it's sharp. 
So you kind of come over here to the front, and then it's going to go back and forth, kind of like a little Z, because it's, it's lightly, lightly giving me um, the edges, because it's not really wavy, but it's just wavy enough to give you that, like, not a mirrored image of it. So you're just going to go a little bit, not mirrored, and that gives you the um, look of the shape upside down. Like, basically, you're painting the boat upside down. And then you do a little squiggly lines, squiggly wigglies. Like that. And then you can put a little bit of that color of what's ever up in there in there. So maybe I'll put a little bit of that in there again. That got a little bit light there. I come down here, get this. And all the detail stuff, that'll come later. Then you put that into the, in the reflections also. Now I'm using the lake water, um, St. Lawrence River water, and it seems like it works okay. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. I forgot my water and I forgot everything else, you know, but hey, there's water right in the lake <laughs> or in the river. It's gonna come down here, get rid of those. Now the side of this wall also has um, lines in there to make it more, looks a little bit cooler. Now here, it's not dry yet, so we're gonna leave it alone. There are no posts in this on this little dock here, but I like posts, so I'm gonna put a couple of posts there, even though it doesn't have it. And there are light on the docks and stuff, and we'll put that in there later. Now for this um, dark reflection on the dock, I'll just put that in there, right underneath. And then that same that same thing, you're gonna do a little bit, um, little edges, little edges, so it looks like it's looks like it's waving because it's, it's waving, there's waves in the water. Now that boat back there had on this side, but since the guy moved up the boat, had a little bit of, um, of the reflection in there too. Now it wouldn't be as dark, but you get it, it was in there, so I'm just gonna put that in there too. Always look at what it is that's reflecting into the water. You know, there's something above it and it's gonna, look, it's gonna do opposite of what you have there. All right, so then over here on the other side of this um, boat, there's also that pier, and that's also gonna have reflections on it. Again, I can show you. I'm just gonna move it over here a second, and you can see, see how I'm, I, it's got the reflections over there? So we're just gonna get those right in there. All right, so then we go like that. Maybe I'll go from this side now, since um, on the left side I can get some of the left stuff in the left side. But over here, you're also going to get a little bit of the of the reflections from the pier. Now I'm going to go in with my smaller brush because that's all the big stuff. That's all the really big things. I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller brush, um, like a quarter inch brush. And hopefully you can still hear me. This side of the boat, I'm just gonna kind of go in with a little bit of. There's a blue that's underneath the. Actually, actually it's kind of gray right here, but I'm just gonna go in here. Uh oh, the sun, sun's getting down faster and faster, so I better hurry. Get this baby done. And there's also um, windows in there, so I have to wait for the dry, and I'll put the windows in there too. And here we go, like this. We're gonna come down here. And then now the windows themselves are really dark. So again, you can use any darks. You know, you can use warm darks, cool darks. Actually, the ones over here probably should be warm darks because they're, it's the curtains shining through. And then the sun is hitting this really hard back there. And so this will be a nice warm, warm inside there. And I didn't put any mascoid down because if you have mascoid, then you, um, you have really harsh lines and I wouldn't need to know you know, what's light? I'm just gonna use white paint. I'm gonna use white paint on there so I don't have to sit there and do it beforehand. Just gonna go in here and get those darks. I think it's really dark on this side. And like anything else, I always like to put in the ease of things, I like to put a little bit of orange in there. Just shoot a little bit of orange in there. Bring this down. And then there's a little bit of a window right there port right there and now the back windows here are a little bit lighter because they're reflecting onto the left they're reflecting the sky into the left here so I'm gonna make those a little bit lighter those windows 
And on the top we got a few horns here, and we got all this kind of gizmo, gizmo stuff there. Not sure that's a word, gizmos. <laughs> you know me, I'm always making up words. Um, we're going to go here. And now this boat over here has a little bit more of a shadow. We're kind of losing that brightness, but I think I still got the look of the brightness since this is dark and then we have a really bright, bright light back there. I would have liked to have, I should have put a little white in here, like sparkles of the water. Um, like in way back there, in the distance, you have sparkles in the water, and I didn't do that, so uh, I should have probably thought that through before. I can probably do it with white paint, and so that'll be good enough. I you know, will just do it with white paint. And this, this over here has some canopy, and it has the wind, or the canopy dark, and then we got the windows there. Thing there, boom, boom, boom. Now we got the light pole back there. Starting to rush it a little bit because I want this. Once the sun goes down, we have nothing, <laughs> so we gotta hurry up here. We got this thing going back here. So this is 7:30 Central Standard Time. That's Central Standard Time. We're in um, Eastern Standard Time, so we're you guys are an hour back or hour ahead. We're an hour ahead. Go over here, put this nice little railing on there real quick. Now I'll put white paint on this railing because I, again, I didn't put masking fluid, so I have to do it with the. Here we got the lamps that are on the dock. And then we got all kinds of junk on there. I was telling my class today because we did a nice painting of a boat yesterday and um, all the all the junk on side of um, uh, the marina is so, it's so much fun to do all the and I got a couple of really great shots of a tugboat and so you just get all that stuff that junk on and the, and the marina is just so cool so much fun to paint this again this picture will be on on Facebook I'll post it and if you want to try it give it a shot People are walking by, and I think I'm talking to myself. I don't think they saw the camera. <laughs> and then again, I do talk to myself a lot, so that's okay. We're gonna go in here and um, put a couple of lines there. Here again, another. Oh, look at all this stuff up there! Isn't that cool? All the little gizmos. Oh man, I love that stuff. Line going straight down for the lamp posts. I've been on a lake here all week and it's been or on the river here it's just amazing river um, tomorrow I'm leaving for the UP and so I'll be in the painted the painted shore I guess and um, hope I'm heading there but I didn't realize that well, I did realize but we um, can't go through Canada to get there so it's gonna be a little bit longer get there because I'm going to be taking um, a boat ride hopefully on the um, up in upper Michigan uh, uh, near Musing I think Musing and so I'll be doing um, maybe I'll be doing a, um, a couple pictures or a demonstration up there too so sorry I didn't get this up there before because um, I didn't know where I was going to paint what I was going to do and um, how I was going to do this and so uh, but you can just rewind this and just go ahead and um, try to paint it at your leisure. It'll be up there on Facebook. I'm probably not going to be able to put it onto YouTube until I get back home, which will be in a, actually almost two weeks because <laughs> I'm going back down to back down to Indiana next week. So we're putting quite a few miles on the car. dark in there. Now look it's shining on there. Man I gotta get some white paint and put the shininess on there. It's so awesome. Nice dark dark. Underneath the boat here is a little bit darker. Here I'm gonna put a couple of the I gotta get back to that side of the boat, or side of the painting. 
So let's put these little bit, um, couple, there's a vent right here, a window right here, another window up front here. Now these windows are really dark, so I'm going to push those a little bit darker this time. Here we got back windows a little bit darker. Now this has become really dark over here because the sun is getting lower and lower and getting more and more vibrant. I'm trying to try to pick up that really beautiful darkness that the sun gives it, you know, that sparkle in the water. I'm going to try that in here with white paint in a second. First, let me get the dark bottom of the boat in here. Yeah, it's not very straight right there, but good enough. And we're going to go back and forth. I like that little bit of orange I have in there. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to get a little bit more of that orange elsewhere. So it really gives you that shine. And then I'll put it in the water here a little bit. You know, painting outside, the one thing that's really nice about painting outside, you witness a lot of things that you don't see in a photograph. So you may not like painting outside, but it does, and even if you don't get a great painting, it is, gives you so much knowledge on what thing, how things happen in, the, in nature with, um, with the things like color and how things work. Here we got this um, whole gizmo up here. That's amazing. Oh, oh, thanks God. a lot. And then we're going to go over here. And push this down there. I wonder if one of that was the owner, maybe. <laughs> he wants to buy it. Yeah. So let me get on this side. And get the oh, what did I do there with my finger? Did I do something with my finger here? Oh boy! Well, we're gonna make that a reflection of some type. There we go. We'll put that there, and we'll just put something up here to make it look like that's something. Maybe a person. I mean, we do that. We we'll just put a person there, and it'll be reflected. And we get the little lights poles in there. See how many you got any more questions here? Anybody? Let me see. Watching this. Okay, it's getting there, guys. Hopefully, it'll be done in about now. See, now it's right in my face. If you look, it's right in my face, and it's getting very warm. So, let's take a look. See, you can see this is right now, it's like boom, really bright and red. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to finish this thing up and. Way here. Here we got the lights again. A little bit dark there. And then this boat needs to have also the um, let's get some really dark darks in here for this one. Now we're gonna put some white white I'm gonna start using white paint only because I have to I mean I have another way of getting it light again so I know that's like a, a lot of people it's a no-no in watercolor but I'm playing air painting and you can do whatever you want anytime you know so just get in there and it just makes it look better that's great if you can enhance something with the white paint just go ahead and do it it's gonna look awesome now this little here this little gizmo the lamppost goes in here and see we'll get the little line in there here a little bit of the line work and I'm not sure exactly how it looks in there I mean and now the boat's in front of it so I can't tell so I'm just gonna <laughs> put whatever in there I couldn't believe when they moved it it's like are you kidding me you're moving and they still haven't brought the other boat there it's like what's the heck going on I'm just gonna put that a little bit, just got a little bit dirty there so I'm just gonna wipe that off a little bit okay and get this That. Okay, let's get the white paint now. I'll get the white paint out and boy, I wish I would have done it now because if I had done it right now, I would have had this really beautiful light in there. Because that's what it is right now. It's just shining and I'll take a picture of that too after we're done here and uh, you can maybe do it that way too. Make it really bright and really warm. 
because the more the sun goes down, the warmer it gets. It gets like the reds and stuff. When I started, it was very blue. So right now it's getting more and more warm and warm. And look at my arm, it's like, it's very warm, the sun. So what we're gonna do now is get some white. Actually, wait one second here, we're gonna get some a little bit more um, blue. And you can, the thing is, you cannot chase the sun when you're outside here and you're chasing the sun, the reflections. You just can't do that. It just doesn't work because you'll be chasing, you'll be changing your painting the whole way through. So you just start with what you start with and then keep that Keep that going. Whatever you take a picture of, that's what you that's what you paint. And um, you can also have your camera with you, and then just look at your camera when you're doing that painting. And it's good enough to get used to that, just to see what it is that you want to paint, and then just look up every once in a while to see what what it looks like real. And I put a couple of antennas there. I still think I need to have a little bit of warmth in this boat here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of orange just right here. It's a little warmth. Make the front of the boat a little bit, a little more warm, a little bit darker too, so that the sun shines. I'm gonna put a little bit of white through here and just shine the sun right through the middle there. <clears throat> and now for the white. So I'm just gonna take titanium and white is the white you want to use. So just use titanium and white. I'm using my rigger brush. You see, it's a rigger brush. It's just a very thin, long-haired brush. And then I'm gonna take it pretty thick. And I'm just gonna rub it in here like pretty thick. And then on the part that's towards the sun, I'm just going to sit there and hit little little marks of, of the sun. And also in here, I'm just going to kind of put, because it's reflecting in there, and it's really shining like crazy here. It's just, you can barely see it. And I mean, you can see way back there, and maybe I'm going to put that in there. Maybe that's a good thing to do. I'm just going to go on this side. Hold on one second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't want to get rid of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the water in the back and then way in the distance there, which is Canada actually on the other side there, I'm just going to put the water back here. See, I'm going to put the water line back here. When I get by the sun, I'm going to make it like really rippled. Like that right there, and it's going to make it like it's just burning through there. The water way in the distance. So we're going to like that. And we're also going to do a little bit of the land back there. A little bit of land behind that maybe. And really, I could probably use it really lightly. Thanks. Hi. Hey. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, thank you. And tell the people on Facebook. <laughs> that's really nice. Well, thank you. We're almost done. How long did it take you? Uh, about 45 minutes right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thanks. Thanks. Alright, so we got beautiful, so I guess it's okay. So we're gonna go here and now just get a little bit of this light coming through there and a couple um things here and I think we'll call it a call it an evening and um, a couple little lights here and there and all right let's get a little bit more white in here I think I like that sun right there so a little bit more white in this area right down here those squiggly lines and um, normally you could put like masking fluid there but we'll just keep it at white paint. And so there we go. Let me see what it looks like through the camera. It's always so good to look at it through the camera too. And um, I think we're good. I think that's about it. And let me give you a close-up shot of it. And then we'll say good night, right? So here you go. A little bit closer up. And, uh, you can kind of see the, all the little details and such. But um. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks guys, for watching again. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to put the things up at Paint Along and with the what I'm going to be painting. But hopefully this helped you a little bit, and I will talk to you hopefully next week and do another one next week in Goshen, Indiana. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.